Life seems to be perfect, all perfect with a happy end, but sometimes its starting is worse than anything else. Everyone had a phrase in their life that made them suffer at every point and they couldn't able to forget that even when they want. And something like this happened with you too. You were a happy family of three, but everything changed the day. Your father decided to leave you both behind because they fall for someone else. You grew up seeing your dad beating your mom but still pretend to be a best dad for you. Loves you in front of you. He loves your mom too, but not in real. He never made any of his action because if he really loves you and your mom, then will never fall for someone else. But even after divorce, everyone blame your mother for that. She couldn't able to give what he needed. She was not good enough for him. Hearing her sobs every night and that fake smile when you were around her made you believe that things like love can never be beautiful until you meet him. John Jungle, the biggest mafia. People are even scared to look at him fall for you the day he saw you crying on your mother's grave. She couldn't able to bear all this and die leaving you all alone in this cruel world where you know nobody. That day, he was the one who holds your hands. His family was against him but he never leave your side and that made you believe in love again. He made you see the beautiful side of this world and love and that's when you realize Sometimes our eyes also betray us. Not every beautiful thing is beautiful and not every heartless thing is cruel. That's why I tell you not to do overwork. You always come home tired. You said gathering his coat and placing it on its right place. Taking the tie you fold it and hang it nicely with other ties. Closing the door of the closet you looked at him. I already filled the tub with warm water. Go and have a long bath. You will feel good. He lifted his head, which was woody, in the pillow and looked at you. A small smile gripped on your face, seeing him smiling at you. One day won't harm anything. I will shower tomorrow. Now I just want something to make me feel good and energetic. Let's go and have dinner. It's already ready and you will feel good after that. He nodded, looking at you for a second, he patted the space behind himself. You looked at him confused. Come here. Slowly walking to him, you sat beside him and your heart again skipped its speed when he put his head on your lap and made your hand rest on his head. You don't like to spend time with me? Who said, I don't like to spend time with you. In fact, I always find chances to be with you. Then what's all this? Go and take shy and let's go have dinner. You even know why I am lying here? Not because I am tired, but to get your attention. But you are the one who is not even looking at me. I am not pretty as you, but I am not that bad too. It's not like that. I thought you are tired and need some rest. I don't want to disturb you. He looked up at you. I am tired and I want rest too, but my rest is with you. I feel relaxed when you are with me, so you are not disturbing me at all. You look down and smile slightly with your red rosy cheeks. Smile often, you look pretty while smiling. Then spend time with me often because you made me smile. You said smiling while he also smiled a little. Had your dinner? No, I was waiting for you. Yeah, until when you are going to be like this, huh? Just have your dinner without me. What if I didn't come home someday or come home late? Will you be hungry all the time, huh? Giving you a lecture, he walked downstairs while you followed him behind smiling. How many times do I have to tell you? Check everything before taking any step. It's always messed up because of you. The man standing next to him lowered his head in fear. Now split the gang in two halves. We are not going together. But sir, you need more security. We can't leave you with this careless. Just do what I said and this time no mistake. We have to finish everything as soon as possible or else we can be in a great trouble. The man nodded. Jungle voice was harsh and a little cold. 
loud enough to scare anyone and his dark eyes that scare anyone. He again opened his mouth to say something but stopped when he saw you, running downstairs, all panic. Your heartbeat was so loud that he could feel it in his heart. You quickly walked to the stairs, not even caring about what will happen if you sleep. Standing two feet away from Jogok, you took a deep breath. As soon as he saw you, those dark orbs softened with love and the voice that was harsh and cold a while ago is now soft. What happened? You are going somewhere. I mean, you all are going somewhere. He smiled and nodded, taking a step closer to you while you looked away. His presence always made your heart flutter. He smiled and stand just an inch away from you. What do you actually want to know, about me or about the whole gang? You press your lips together, you looked away and then at him. About you. He smiled, taking a deep breath, brushing your hair back, he said. Yes, for a mission, but don't worry, I will be back till sunset. Don't go. Last time when you went for a mission, you come back all wounded. I don't want to see that again. I was so scared back then. I won't get hurt, I promise. And also, I'm going to be left alone here and you know I'm scared. He smiled understanding what you really want. Want to visit Nuna for some time? You looked at him and nodded slightly, trying to control your smile but couldn't. He chuckled seeing you smiling widely. Go get ready, I will pick you up on the way back to home, okay? You nodded and ran upstairs making him giggle at your cuteness. You ran into the room and your eyes got teary when you saw Jungkook lying on the bed with wires all over his hands. Your eyes got teary, the bandage around his waist trying hard to control the blood but couldn't. There's still some blood flowing through it. His restless face is looking paler than before and he is even looking weak. As soon as the door opened, he, his eyes went towards it. And he smiled slightly, making you scoff. This man never going to be serious over anything. You walked towards him with a slow step and sat on the chair beside the, his bed. You promised me that you are not going to get hurt. How innocent you are, right? Promises are meant to be broken, my dear. He said smiling. You pressed your lips together and looked at the man standing beside Jungkook. Jungkook looked at him and bite his lower lip, shifting a little. Jungkook faced him fully. Everyone left. Do you want to join our conversation? He smiled and shook his head. Bound at you too, he left from there. Jungkook looked at you and smiled, while you also smiled slightly at him. They all are so innocent. How's your wound? Is it still hurting? I told you to take care of yourself, but you never listen to me. Always want to do what you want to do. What if something more bad happened? Is it still hurting? He chuckled, so rare that you ever talk like this, and whenever you do, it always makes him happy inside. Those tears in your eyes shows the love for him you always hold inside. These tears shows how much you care about him. Don't worry, it's not raining now. Until you are with me, everything is fine. And what if I get away from you? You asked in a low whisper voice. He looked at you and raised his brows. Looking down, you again pressed your lips in a thin line. Have you eaten anything? You said taking an apple from the table and started to peel it. Jungkook was looking at you with a smile while your focus was on the apple you were peeling. Have you eaten? You looked at him while his face was looking a little serious. You looked down and slightly shook your head, making him sign. Why again? How many times do I have to say you to have your dinner on time? Why you even wait for me when you know that I'm going to be late? The voice was little loud but not loud enough to make you cry. You looked at him with a little pout on your face, just to hold those overwhelmed emotions.
But you said that we will go on a date. That's why I didn't had anything. He sighed and looked at you. The innocent face with extra innocent heart. You never understand how you even still believe on people after holding so much in your heart. Then you should ask me if I'm going to be late or even coming back home or not. If I don't come back, then you won't even have any food. Don't say like this. He sighed. You peel the apple and cutting it in a small pieces. You put that in front of him. And what about you? You are not going to eat. You press your lips together and nod it. I will have something from the canteen. You eat it and take some rest. It's going to hurt you if you stay awake for so long. He tried to get up but hissed in pain. You quickly ran to him, helping him to sit straight. Supporting his head with your one hand, you softly put the pillows to support his back. He smiled. You looked at him and quickly looked away. Looked away even before any emotion of yours again took over you. You raised his back on the pillow and covered him with the blanket. Feeling bad? About what? I promise you that I will be safe but still got hurt. And then I promise you that I will take you on a date with me. Our first date ever, but again broke my promise. Didn't you tell earlier that promises are meant to be broken, so it won't hurt after knowing this? And what if I said that some promises are not meant to be broken then? Then both the things hurt the same. You said without looking at him. He chuckled and leaned comfortably back on the pillow. It's so true when someone said that love do need a confession. Not to show the depth of the love because that's something you can't measure but to open up. I'm already hurt so I will keep the first promise from the next time. But the second one, Mrs. John Ryan, will you be my date? Your eyes got dirty. Never in your life you thought that you will ever get a man who give you the respect and the love he is giving to you. You looked at him and he was still smiling. Some people come to your life like a shining sun, not strong to burn your life but bright enough to light up every corner of your heart. You looked at him and then at his extended hand. How can we? You are hurt and... Just come with me if you believe me. He speaks in middle. You stay there looking at him for a minute. You only had him to believe. You only had him to spend your life with. You can walk anywhere with him without cautioning because you only had him in your life who believes you. Raising your hand, you softly put your small hands in his broad palms. He looked at you and smiled. You really believe me so easily. What if I hurt you? You put your belief on me first by asking me to have a beautiful moment with you. It's hard to win from you, but I like to lose from you. Where are we going? I don't think the doctor will allow you to go out. You know why couples used to go on dates? So that they can get some time to know each other. Their growing feelings and dates don't need any special place. The place where you can open up with each other is your date. He switched off the lights, making you flinch a little. You looked at him confused. It was so dark in the room. Jungkook softly grabbed your hand and made you sit in front of him. He light up a small candle that brightened every corner of the room. He put the fruits on the table and looked at you smiling. You don't like this decoration? If you are not comfortable then... No, no, it's so good. I really like it. He smiled and you both spent few minutes in silence. Looking around, he tried to reach his coat. You quickly take it and give it to him. He smiled and mouthed thank you. After finding something in his pocket, he looked at you. I tried to find so many things in the store, but still those were not even near to your beauty. But I got this. He opened the beautiful red box and you see even more beautiful necklace. You looked at him and he smiled. You don't like it? 
No, it's so beautiful, you see. He smiled and nodded. Just thought to give you something on our first date to make it a little more memorable. Come, I will help you to put this on. You leaned closer and he put the necklace in your neck. Backing off, he smiled proudly on his choice. He fixed it in your neck. You make it more beautiful, you know. Jungkook, can I ask you something? He hums. You love me? He chuckled and hold both of your hands. Love really need a beautiful confession. I love you more than anything. More than myself. More than any limits of, of fall in love. We never going to measure my love for you. It's endless and even above that. What about you? Don't you love me? I fall for you the moment you grab my hand and stand against the whole world to make me yours. That day you make me fall for you. My love is not as deep as yours, but it's pure. He chuckled. We even confess and now you even get your date. So at least now give me a warm hug. I'm dying for it. He said and spread his arms, but you look a little hesitate. You are already hurt. What if I hurt you more? We will hug when you get well fully. Aish, look at this cruel world. I'm on the hospital bed. God knows what will happen to me the next second and my wife can't even fulfill my last wish. It's not like that. Your wound, F that wound. Don't you want to stay closer to my heart? He said spreading his arms while you wipe your tears and let your body rest in his warm arm. I want to stay in it. 